Would you spend $90 on a fire extinguisher that explodes when in use? When flames get in contact with these balls, they self-activate. Open flames burn the plastic cover and trigger an explosion. A loud bang alerts the user and disperses around one kilogram of fire suppressing powder. That, of course, won't put out an entire burning room. It's more of a preventative measure to make sure no small fires spread. In electrical closets, for example, next to kitchen stoves, or even with your car engine. At least that way, you won't have to read any complicated labels on fire extinguishers. According to the Colorado Avalanche Information Center, an average of 27 people died in avalanches each winter in the U.S. So what makes this curious backpack a good way to help stay safe during such an unpredictable danger? It includes a 160-liter airbag that inflates in just three seconds. It works the same way as the nuts in your cereal. When shaking the cereal box, you'd find that the bigger ingredients always come up on top. That is because of their larger volume, which is exactly what the inflated bag provides to the user. Prices range above $1,000. The machine strapped to this person's chest is keeping them alive, literally. Devices like these are called automatic resuscitation systems. And in the future, first responders can rely on something like it. For example, while transporting the person to the ambulance through narrow stairs or in cramped elevators where a manual heart massage is not possible. Furthermore, using one of these has even shown improved outcomes in numerous clinical trials. But it might be hard to get your hands on one of these devices. Each costs several thousand dollars. When a tsunami strikes, some people might trust their lives to structures like these, called survival capsules, they have been engineered with a lot of attention to detail. A high contrast color to get the attention of rescue teams, airflow valves, and even a dry toilet. The basis is a frame made of aluminum tubes and an outer shell is fixed on top of it. There is also bigger versions for up to 12 people, making for a slightly larger ball with 2.5 meters in diameter. Let's just hope there is nobody claustrophobic on board. With a speed of one meter per second, the SkySaver Rescue Backpack is one proposed solution for evacuating high-rise buildings. It is strapped onto the body at six pressure points, can hold up to 135 kilograms, and requires no training, only a sturdy anchor point, and a lot of trust into the mechanical braking mechanism and the galvanized steel cable. At a price of almost $1,500 for a backpack, some might accuse this company of preying on the fears of people. But when you're hanging outside a building 260 feet in the air, you'll quickly appreciate that the company had enough money for R&D to make the descent safe. No, the thing on your screen is not a delicious pack of ramen noodles. It's something much darker. A single-use mask for people under attack by airborne threats, be it chemical, biological, radioactive, or even nuclear. Once put on, it gives them 15 minutes to escape the contaminated location, and during that time, even protects from any possible splashes to the face. The clear hood also allows for quick face recognition and a big field of vision. However, for an emergency one-time use device, it is rather expensive, with its current pricing at just under $200. Don't forget to subscribe to Unstoppable Gadgets. And if you want to check out some more life-saving gadgets and tools, click on the screen for the next video.